I don't know what's wrong with South Africans. I don't just know what's wrong with South Africans. Anybody that they see who does not like Nigerians, they will come and be you form an alliance with the person to attack Nigerians. I don't understand South Africans. What is really the 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 what is really the color of your wickedness? What exactly do you want from Nigerians? What do you want? Do you want trouble? Because when we start now, you will run. All those your lazy brothers on my comment section making noise and lazy sisters. I don't I don't even have what to tell you. So Libya, there's this story I, I posted um a few weeks ago talking about Libya, people being threatening Nigerians that they're going to show them all of those things, they're going to show them. <laughs> Somebody said, no, it's not possible. They are not going to do anything to them. That they are just ranting. It's normal rant. I say it's normal rant. They say, yes, it's normal rant. Nothing like that is about to happen. Ah, okay. I say no problem. They say, oh, they even said that he's, he lives in Libya, that there's nothing like that happening. So now, the other day, I think yesterday, the news broke again that, oh, they are, they are actually arresting people in Libya. It's mass arrest and all of that. Ah. I saw people saying, oh, see how the anti Africa started laughing on the comment section. Oh, you see, she, you are always supporting these people. They say they will show them Nigerians. Nobody wants them and all that. You see, the truth is they want to. They, they always form alliance with people to hate Nigerians so that they can now say nobody wants Nigeria. It's not possible. Nigerians are the sweetest people to live with for free, I tell you. So now Nigerian government decided to respond to them. They are like, okay, well, these things, because the story was that uh, the Libya versus Nigerians saga isn't ending anytime soon no. after alleged reports of nigerians being arrested unlawfully so this is a blog carrying this on social media a blog a, a known a, a known blog it said they are you are safe government tells citizens in libya after calf verdict government told citizens already that they are safe they should not be afraid of anything so you understand they shouldn't be afraid but you see when the news is beginning to repeat itself like this then there's problem let's read what somebody wrote recently many people have been worried about nigerian citizens being arrested and attacked in libya after cav gave nigeria three points and sanctioned libya for treating nigerians badly many people started talking about the, sa the safety if nigerian citizens in libya uh, of nigerian citizens in libya and how the libyan government might start attacking and arresting nigerian citizens however the nigerian government has re reacted to the news saying that nigerians are safe in libya and then today they are saying that if anything if with the go going by what they are saying on social media if it's true that nigerians are being attacked unlawfully because the reason why they will use the word unlawfully is because it should not be the one that a nigerian will do something and then they will not arrest him and they will say it's because of the libya storm so that was why there was that caveat if they were arrested unlawfully that then there's going to be a problem because they will give it to them so somebody said with my clear eye looking at that image circulating online i can categorically tell you that all those people are not nigerians in any way maybe i can see five in that crowd looking similarly not nigerians the rest look like not an east africans exactly but you know these people now they have a way of just constituting nuisance i don't know how people cannot even differentiate between nigerians and other african countries it's always so difficult every little thing in nigerians even when people do things that nigerians are not there i am so glad that nigerians don't dress like south africans because there was this video that south africans were looting if it were, if they had any similar there's any similar dressing with south nigerians they would have just said they were nigerians but thank god they weren't and they were speaking their dialect some will say Libyans that realize that there's a lot of them living in Nigeria. They shouldn't try nonsense. So try themselves. You say Libyans don't realize that. It's like Libyans don't know that a lot of Libyans live in Nigeria. That if they try anything. <laughs> and that person say, as for me, I don't even accept connecting flight through any northern African country. God forbid. <laughs> This other person say I can't even believe that Nigerians are in Libya. I me, mean, they didn't shock me. Like I think Nigerians just like to travel because they travel to even places that Nigerians, Nigeria is better than a million times. They just travel there, and that is why South Africans are feeling that they are too much. Like they feel cool with themselves for nothing, but it's okay. So once it because most of them try to go to Europe by sea, 
through Libya, but most of them end up dead in the sea. This other person say it's pure madness. Hmm. Waiting them, they find. Waiting them, they go find for there. This one say it's because of the ignorance in the search for something that isn't there. They fall for the lies on social media, unfortunately. Exactly. Because social media people keep telling them, oh, Libya is good and all of that. At the end of the day, they fall for it. They fall for all those things that are just vague. They just lie to them and they say, oh, this country is the best you go. At the end of the day, the country is not even good. Your Nigeria is still better. And one thing I know about Nigerians is once they have traveled out, they believe people in the home front believe they've traveled out. They will not want to be a failure. So they will rather stay there than come back, which is better to come back. This person, it wasn't so unfortunately, many ignorant and gullible Africans fall for these lies on social media, claiming greener pastures exactly because they'll go there and use your early age, use it, or then you'll not even be able to come out with anything. This one said, I can't even believe this one said, Niger Nigerian government cannot do anything to Libya, and it's Nigerians' fault for going to Libya in the first place. Libyans did not ask to come. Libya doesn't need Nigeria in any way. That's a lie. It's because you don't know. You South Africans, you just come to rant rubbish on the comment section. Do you know how many Libyans live in Nigeria? Do you know? Somebody say it's wrong to abuse foreigners residing in your country. It's not f f their fault, though. Some Nigerians cannot just sit back home to develop their own country. Most of them living abroad are now wishing they didn't leave. Nigeria is still one of the best countries in to live in. The challenges of Nigeria are providing the, the opportunities to make money for many resources, resourceful Nigerians who decided to leave the country. It is not say it is miserable studies again. You said CAF wouldn't do anything and CAF did. Nigerian government will clear your doubt and you will you will have the best belief. You see, the thing is, Nigerian government don't even follow the social media rant. It's only people, golly books, uh, governments like South African government that follow social media rants. Nigerians, well, when they want to do, they will do. You've forgotten what they did to the evasion of one particular country when they tried rubbish with Nigeria. They stopped them to, from having collective flight. They, that's in, they gave them a, hmm. This was the South African government couldn't do anything to the Libyan government to then, obviously, you haven't heard about international courts. Don't mind them. This was I guess this there's something I'm missing. What does South Africans got to do with this with Libya? It's because South Africans meddle into the whole thing. South Africans can go as far as looking for your social media handle to send you a message to prove a point. Maybe if you have given them so much heat on the comment section replying them, they can go to any level. This one say, waiting this Mumu Deyan. Are you aware that Libyans in Nigeria, especially in the north part of the country, even it, if them give sense for free some olodos like you no go get sense also and that person said they don't even know how many libyans live in nigeria so i don't even blame that this one said nigeria should report libya to the au and the united nations exactly oh, that's what they should do as soon as possible this one said many people actually think that president bola ahmed is weak is a weakling simply because he doesn't talk much but just acts he said if libya pass their boundary them go collect that's the truth me i'm not i'm not you know defending the president too like i'm not defending tinibu but the truth is that there's a level at which he can take nonsense from all these countries as you see those those people called all these people in libya you know thinking that they have sense they did they did it they saw that calf sanctioned them if you see there's a level they will go and can calf will ban them totally calf can actually ban them for life and they will never play ball again. There's a way they will go. And this case will go around. See, one thing about Nigerians is that they don't come for you. But when you come for them, they will fight you to the last. And when they fight you to the last, they will ensure that you pay for everything. Like, okay, look at the calf issue. Did Nigerian government overreact? No. They just allowed the calf to handle it. And how, how did it turn out? The Nigerian government apologized to the boys, to our boys, and told them not to worry. Let calf handle it. And calf handled it. The only thing is that CAF did not give them so much money to pay because that fifty thousand dollars was not you understand. So if any going by all this they are doing, they should understand that Nigerian government may not be doing what the citizens want, but when it comes to them dealing with you know other countries, they do it to the later. They will not shout, but they will do it. So South Africans stay away from countries country like now libya did something to us you supported them to the end now you saw the sanctions you still you are still looking for issues to you, are, you try to rope yourself any video you see that you 
somebody your name is not mentioned don't watch it if possible mm -hmm. because it's like people have dementia and it's not good leave nigerians alone let's concentrate on libya yeah